Hello, today we're in my kitchen again and I'm going to show you how I love to do mushrooms. I think um, this time of year we're in the autumn and it's really important to start having warm food and this is one of the questions that comes up a lot is you know how do you do raw foods in the winter and um, I think it's really important when you're transitioning when you're in the first year or two of going raw that if you get those cravings for warm foods for hot foods it's really important that you listen to them because um, it can be quite damaging it can be quite depleting on your body to eat too much cold food when you listen to um, Chinese medicine when you sort of um, hear what the macrobiotic people have to say and they don't like eating a lot of raw food they say too much raw food is too yin on the body and they have got a point they're very right to say that one of the most common things we see in raw food people in this sort of climate that we have in the UK is spleen deficiency where they have a really weak spleen which is caused by too much yin food so it's really important to get warm food in you to have warm teas and um, to just warm your soups, warm your sauces, have some, if you're having rice or potatoes or something like that, have your hot rice and then put a raw sauce over it or a, a raw salad with your potatoes. And to eat stuff straight out of the dehydrator is a really lovely thing to do so. As you probably know, I'm a big fan of kale chips. You can do things like you can finely chop broccoli and cauliflower, and make a nice raw sauce like a cashew or a hemp cream mayonnaise thing put that over and then just put that in the dehydrator for a couple of hours and that's you have that warm that's really nice um, but one of the favorite things I love to do is the mushrooms the magic mushrooms and um, portobello ones I think are the best mushrooms are a bit like tofu they just um, they're really spongy they really like soak up your marinade and you know on their own they're they're good but they're not very exciting but if you put them in a great marinade it really um, absorbs all those flavours and makes it something quite exciting so um, I think portobello ones work the best because they've got the most flesh so I've got here I've got 500 grams which is half a pound of portobello mushrooms which usually gets me four mushrooms and I'm going to just chop them into quite fat chunks So here I've got my mushroom pieces here, you see they're about an inch thick, about two, two and a half centimetres thick. Um, and they're kind of, they're a bit like chicken I think when they're like this, it's a bit like strips of chicken or it's just really nice and meaty, something you can really sink your teeth into. So you need quite a lot of marinade when you're doing this, don't be scared of, of really drenching it because I say it really absorbs it all. So I've got here, I've got a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And tip over. Uh, so it's half a cup of olive oil, and then I'm going to put on um, a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And, and a couple of tablespoons of tamari. And then just mix that all together with your hands, make sure it's nice and nice and soaked. So there you go, it's lovely just like that. You can eat them just like that, and that's really gorgeous. Okay, so next I'm just gonna coat them in some sprinkles. I've got my sea greens here. As you might know, I'm a really big fan of sea greens, they're fantastic. It's a wild rack seaweed and it's produced in granular form by a company called Sea Greens. And I love just sprinkling it on everything. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of sea greens on. And then we've got the whole temp. My favourite, favourite, one of my very favourite foods, hemp. Just don't tell US immigration. And I'm going to put on a quarter of a cup of whole temp. Kind of, it kind of does it like a breaded mushroom thing when you do it like that. Mix up together with your hands. 
Okay, there you go. Look, isn't that gorgeous? Uh, you just want to marinate that for, um, I'd say, a couple of hours. Um, if you look, all that oil, that was half a cup of oil, and that's just gone already. That's all been soaked up. That's how much it absorbs it. It's, it's dry in there now. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it a couple of hours, and then put it in a dehydrator. So what I often do is I do it in the morning. So then you're marinating it till the afternoon, then I put it in the dehydrator at about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and then we eat them about 6 o'clock for tea. Um, so it's so easy to do, it just literally takes a few minutes. Bang them in the dehydrator and then eat them warm when they're ready and they're just gorgeous. So you could either mix them in your salads or just have them whole, if you chop them up, mix them in, or just have them whole with the salad. And it's just magic. So, uh, thank you very much for listening to me again, and um, I'll be back very soon. Check out Ecstatic Beings, new book, and check out Kate's Magic Bubble. If it's not up when you're listening to this, it will be up really, really soon. Kate'sMagicBubble.com Alright, thank you. Bye. Who wants to join in? <laughs>